Hey guys, welcome to Chilling Dragon Designs. This is Saravanan. Today I'm going to show you how to design an open end branch set using SolidWorks. Before start sketching, check whether all the dimensions must be in MMGS, that is millimeter gram second. Select. Now I'm going to show you what are all the tools I use to design an open end branch set. First one is a center line. Using a center line to create a symmetrical sketch elements and revolve features or as construction geometry, you can create multiple radial or diametric dimensions without selecting a center line each time. Then circle, three point arc, smart dimensions, extrude, extrude cut, offset entities. Using offset entities, relation is created between the new sketch entity and the selected entity. If the original entity changes, the new entity updates, updates to maintain the offset. Convert Entities The Convert Entities, you can create one or more curves in a sketch by projecting an edge, loop, face, curve, etc. Trim Entities Edit Scaling Scaling is built in a feature of SolidWorks, which is used to change the dimension of an object using scaling ratio. Text, Fillet and Mirror These are the tools I use to design an open end branch. Ok, let's start sketching. Now I'm going to start the sketch from the front line. Select front line, sketch. Here I'm going to draw one center line horizontally from this origin point. And I'm going to give dimension for this up to 100 mm. Now I'm going to create two circles in these two points. Circle. And again one more circle. Smart dimensions for the first circle. I'm going to give it's 32 mm, and for second circle, I'm going to give 30 mm. It's fine now. Again, center line join these two points, same like this side. And again, center line, draw like this. And for this side, draw like this. Again, center line, draw horizontally. Same like this side. Now I'm going to do the offset. Select this axis line, offset entities, 6 mm. It's already there. Bi directional must be selected. Select. Now for this side, select this one, offset entities. I'm going to give 6.5 mm. Select. The offset is done. Now I'm going to do trim. Select trim entities, remove the excess part, this one, this one, and this one. For this side, remove this, this one, and this one. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw another center line from this point horizontally. And I'm going to give dimension for this 70 degree. It's fine. Again, center line. Draw like this. And again, center line. Draw like this. Smart dimensions. For this one. I'm going to give this 163 degree done select now I'm going to draw three point arc select three point arc from here to here and for this side from here to here smart dimensions for this one, I'm going to give this 7 mm. For this one, I'm going to give 9 mm. Okay. 
select now select this center axis line again offset entities I'm going to give 5.5 mm select remove the exit excess part using trim entities trim this one and for this side remove this select you can zoom it and see whether these points are joined properly or not I think see it's not joined for that I'm going to select this point and this one and make it as coincident for this point and this one make it as coincident same like this side this point and this one make it as coincident point and this one coincident okay now exit the sketch go to features extrude now I'm going to extrude this one and this one in the mid plane. I'm going to extrude this up to 5 mm. Select. Select this sketch. Again, extrude. Select this one. Same mid plane. I'm going to do this up to 2.5 mm. Select. Now I'm going to do the fillet. Select fillet. I'm going to give 47 mm radius. Select this edge and this edge. Select. And again fillet. I'm going to give 23 mm radius. Select this edge and then this edge select now I'm going to select this face sketch select convert entities now I'm going to do offset entities select this edge now the offset is created up to 3 mm it's fine select click OK now I'm going to do extrude cut Selected contour us and select this one. I'm going to give up to 0.5 mm. Select. See the extrude cut is done. Now again fillet. I'm going to give it's 2 mm. Select these edges. All the four sides. Okay. Select. Now the fillet part is done. Now select the front line. Mirror. Now we have to mirror this at the back side. Select this fillet, press Ctrl key and select it and cut text to select. Now see the mirror is done. Okay, now again fillet. I'm going to give 0.3 mm for all the sides here, here. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, we completed the fillet part. Now I'm going to add the material properties. Select material, right click, and edit material. I'm going to give AISI 4340 steel normalized. Select and apply now the material is added I'm going to give some colors for this planner
we completed adding the material properties on the colors, just go to evaluate, measure the distance between these two. The normal distance is 13 mm. I already mentioned here it's 13 and 12. This is a 12 13 spanner. Like this, I'm going to make a 12 number of spanners with different different dimensions. For that, I'm going to use a scaling operation. Now let's see how to do that. Go to insert features scale here i'm going to give 14 that is next number for this banner divided by 13 it's a present one select the bodies now it's enlarged measure it and see the distance between these two see the normal distance is 14 mm like this, we are going to do up to 12 numbers with different different dimensions from 6, 7 to 30, 32. We completed the scaling operation. This one is the smallest one. I will zoom it and show you. 6, 7 number. I'm going to assemble all those things. Now we completed the assembly part. You can see this from 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, up to 30 and 32. Now the integrated preview is going on. Whatever we do in scaling, but there will be some deviations like 0.5 mm to 0.7 mm. For example, I designed 1213 spanner and I'm going to scale it to next set that is 1415 spanner. For that, I use 14 that is a next set divided by 13 is a current one. The value is something in 0 point or 1 point. Like that, we are going to do for next set that is 16 by 14. 16 is the next set divided by 14 is the current one. There will be some ratio for that also. Likewise, for each and every scaling, there will be some deviations between the open end. This one we called it as open end. So no need to worry about that. It reduces our workload. While designing n number of spanners takes more time than the scaling. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave your likes below and do subscribe for more designs. Stay tuned. Cheers.